So sooner or later, you'll be faced with the question, should you be playing a P bass or a jazz bass? And in this video, I want to kind of break down what I see the benefits of both of these instruments. And if you're just starting out or you're, you know, investigating what bass could be right for you, this is going to be a great video for you, okay? Now, we're going to start off with the P bass. Let me just put this bass down. So here's the precision bass, okay? And the reason why I'm starting with this one is because this was the first one that Leo Fender, Fender, um, invented way back in the day. I absolutely love these instruments. They're just kind of bare essentials. They are the ultimate kind of like bass players workhorse. <laughs> is that what people say? Anyway, I do. This is like the ultimate workhorse instrument. Now these were developed, I think in like 1951 or 52, the first, the first precision basses were made. And other than a few changes, they're pretty much identical. You know, the original ones had a slab body and didn't have these, these contours and stuff and had a slightly different pickup. But, you know, for the most part, they're pretty much identical. Now, this one here, you might be wondering what type it is. This is actually a Fender Masterbuilt Custom Shop based by Vincent Van Trigd, who is like one of the top builders over at the Fender Custom Shop. This is the precision bass and it is a workhorse. It's really, really basic. You've got one pickup or it's, it looks like two pickups, but it's actually just a split, um, a split pickup here acting as one. You've got one volume control, which does what it says on the packet. And then you've got a tone control as well. Now, if you're just starting out, you're thinking, what the heck is a tone? I know what a volume control is. What is a tone control? A tone control does this, okay? This is with the tone control all the way up. Yeah. If I turn it all the way off. Okay, it goes from ha ho. It kind of sort of like darkens up the sound. And then you've got variant, you know, you can kind of like put add as much tone or cut as much tone as you want to. Now, one of the main differences between the precision bass and the jazz bass from an ergonomics point of view, okay, is not so much the body shape because the jazz bass has a slightly different body, but it's, you know, neither one is more comfortable than the other. But the big difference for me is the neck. It is a very common thing for the precision bass to have a slightly thicker neck than the jazz bass, okay? Slightly thicker neck, not crazy, but you can definitely, you know, you can definitely feel it. And then I play, let me just bring that tone back up a bit. Um, You can tell when you play a P bass, it's not as easy under the hands, for me at least, as a jazz bass because it's just got a slightly wider neck. So that's just something to look out for when you're putting them you know, against each other. If you are looking to fly around the neck, you know, the P bass might not be the instrument to do that on with a huge, big old spoonful of a caveat that there are people that do play P basses you know, and fly all over them. There's, there are aliens out there okay, that do that. And also, when you're thinking about the P bass, for me, think about the type of players that have played it in the past. And those are really anybody from James Jameson all the way through to like, Adam Clayton of U2, U2, right? There's a two opposite end of the spectrum there, right? Super like Motown sound, and then we've got like a rock sound over here. And they are a really, really versatile instrument. Not so much the, the tone that you can get, but the application of that tone. You can do kind of sort of like Motown stuff, jazz stuff, and you can also do like rock and metal stuff. And the, just the simplicity of it means it sits really, really well in the mix. So that, is the P bass, okay? Now, let's look at the jazz bass. Okay, so this is the jazz bass, and this particular jazz bass is in 1970, original 1978, and it is a... It's, it's an absolute beauty to play. So I'll tell you a little bit more about it in one second, but first of all, 
what what does you know what's the jazz bass all about right well the jazz bass is for me it's the development of the p bass it's like leo fender um, did the p bass first the precision bass and then he went on to design the jazz bass now it's not you it's obviously called a jazz bass that doesn't mean it is you know to be used in jazz at all this arguably is probably the most popular bass in history maybe the precision bass is i don't know let me know in the comments which do you think is the most popular bass out of the jazz bass and the precision bass it's tough right let me know in the comments um but that you know it's a it, it's a close call but the jazz bass is in terms of versatility it's got a little more than the precision bass so let me just talk through it obviously body shape is it's it's an offset body as you can see so kind of similar to the p bass but just a little offset it's comfortable you know it's as comfortable as the p bass the neck is actually a, a lot thinner on this bass than the p bass that i was just playing earlier and you will find that on most jazz basses that the uh, the neck profile is thinner okay now it does change depending on what year it is whether it was like an original you know original uh, fender back in the day to you know what you're getting now at, straight out of the shop but in general 99.99999 percent of the time the jazz bass will have a thinner neck profile okay and another thing that's different between the p bass and the jazz bass are these have jazz basses have two pickups they have a neck pickup and a bridge pickup which means they're a little more versatile because you can play the bridge pickup on its own which sounds like this okay that's like that stereotypical jaco pastorius tone he used the bridge pickup soloed okay some Jacko Pastorius there. Anyway, um, that's what Jacko used, right? Bridge pickup. Now also, you can put the volume all the way up for the neck pickup and then turn the bridge pickup all the way off. This gives you the bridge, the neck pickup soloed. Yeah. Okay, that's the neck pickup soloed which gives you kind of a p bass vibe not exactly but if you dial that tone back a bit i know more of a p bass tone um, and then you can have also both pickups wide open which gives you well like from a from a picked tone that jazz bass sound right yeah really famous jazz bass tone and then also that you know marcus miller slap tone But these are great basses, you know, because again, they're sort of like, you know, a bit of a workhorse instrument, but they are more versatile than the P bass because you've got these two pickups that you can utilize on their own, or you can use them together to get, you know, a variety of different tones. Now, when it comes to which bass is right for you, like it really depends. As I was saying earlier before about the P bass, for me, the P bass is, you know, people that jump to mind, James Jameson. Uh, like well you know and a bunch of other people but he's kind of sort of like that you know for me when I think about p-bass I just think about that tone whereas the jazz bass I think about Jaco Pistorius in terms of like that solo bridge tone or I think about Marcus Miller for that 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 slap tone so it really depends on what your needs are as a bass player and remember that the jazz bass is also a little easier to play as well because of the thinner neck profile. So let me know in the comments, which are you gonna go for? Which do you prefer, a P bass or a jazz bass? What, what kind of a player are you, P bass or jazz bass, or do you have both? Take it easy and I'll see you in the shed. Mm -hmm.